Hi, it's Miss Hanson here back with another virtual music class. This one is for my older students and today I'm going to take you through an online song maker website um, in the Chrome Music Lab. It's a lot of fun. Earlier today I made a few songs that I'm going to share with you and I'm also going to show you exactly how to use it. It is super easy to use and a lot of fun, I think. I'm hoping that you will play around with it and then send me um, one of your creations. You can send it to me through email or you can use the Fine Arts Google Classroom. And a reminder that anytime you respond to any of our assignments, mine, Miss Chetty, or Miss Summers, you are entered into our poster contest. And every single time you respond is another entry in the contest. Um, we are hoping that you will send us stuff because we really want to connect with you. Okay, so enjoy using the SongMaker website through the Chrome Music Lab. Okay, I'll put the link down below, but if you want to just get there yourself, type Chrome Music Lab into Google. Then choose the song maker. And this is what you see when you get inside. So what you can do um, to start playing around is when you click on the screen, you get different pitches. Okay, you can click anywhere and you'll get notes. The lower you click on the screen, the lower the sound. The higher you click, the higher the sound, okay? And when I press play on this, it's gonna play vertically. So you're gonna hear that. And sometimes I've put like five notes in one part of the beat and sometimes there's only one. So have a listen. Okay, I'm gonna click restart up here to clear my screen. Um, each of these Darker lines indicates the end of a beat basically and so you basically have 16 beats to work with. So you can do ta's or you can do tt's. Okay, um, the other things to know about this are that you can change the sound below. So I've got the marimba sound. Marimba is a type of xylophone. I can change it to um, piano, to strings. Okay? And you can change it as it's playing. It'll just continue looping. Okay, you get the idea? Uh, down below is where we have our percussion. So these dots here, you can fill them in and they give you a bunch of choices. I'll start with the drum kit. You get a bass drum and a snare drum. Okay? Okay, and same thing, you can change the sound. That's conga. So you gotta play around with the different sounds to find the one that you like. This toggle here is your tempo. So you're gonna, as you slide it to the right, it's gonna get faster, to the left is slower. Okay, um, over here is the mic. Um, I can allow it to use my microphone and then I can sing pitches into it. I'm not going to demo that right now because I think that's less fun than just putting them in manually, but you guys can check it out. Undo just takes back the things you've been doing, kind of like an eraser, okay? Um, restart is to clear the whole thing. And then this is the best part. This is save over here. So when you're happy with your um, creation, you want to click save. And then you can copy this link, okay? Head on over to your email and send me a link to this creation of yours, okay? It saves it forever and I can click on it and go check it out. Um, or you can post it in the Google Classroom. That's another spot where I can click on it and check it out. And if you post it in the Google Classroom, then lots of kids can go and check it out if you post it on the main stream. Okay, you can watch me build Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And then I can add in my drum part here. And let's see what it sounds like. And remember, I can change the sound at any time. So that's a little bit of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, just me showing you how it works. And then earlier I built this one with all this harmony. 
I'll play it for you. Um, and I will post the links to these song makers for you to check out and you can mess around with them if you want to. Okay, and here's another one. I'm going to press play, see if you can name that tune. What song is this? That was You Are My Sunshine. Okay, here's another one. This one's a little bit awkward. It didn't work very well rhythmically, but I'll press play anyways and see if you can figure it out. Did you get it? It would shake it off, but like I said, it was kind of awkward. Okay, so now it's your turn. Go to this website and make a song. Either do what I did and like try and uh, copy songs, or what I think is more fun is be creative and um, mess it around and come up with your own song. And then don't forget to click copy and send me the link. Have fun!